All right, guys, we just made it to the trailhead. About to hike to Mount Sterling Fire Tower. A little over five it's, miles. It's a little over five miles total, right? There and back, it's like two and a half or something like that. About to start hiking here. The fall colors are booming right now, as you can tell. So we should get a lot of cool photos along the way and a lot of cool colors, so I can't wait. A bunch of rocks Look at the under a tree. The amber colored stuff. <laughs> Looks like you found some tree sap. It's just oozing down this tree. I see a sign. Let's see. Finally made it to the ridge of the mountain. I think we have about 0.5 miles left give or take to the fire tower so we should be getting there pretty shortly <laughs> don't see a fire tower yet it's close because no horses are allowed to be on this side so this is for horses that's pretty cool It'd be cool to see some horses it's actually one place a state park in virginia just outside of tennessee that has uh, wild ponies just roaming around. That's gonna be next on the list. Some kind of metal structure over here. We've arrived at the fire tower. In this universe, there is one great energy and we have no name for it. People have tried various names for it, like God, like Brahman, like Tao, but in the West, the word God has got so many funny associations attached to it that most of us are bored with it. When people say God the Father Almighty, most people feel funny inside. But according to Buddhist philosophy, all this universe is one tatata. -ta. That means 10,000 functions or 10,000 things, one suchness. And we're all one suchness. And that means that suchness comes and goes like everything else because this whole world is an on and off system. As the Chinese say, it's the yang and the yin. And therefore it consists of now you see it, now you don't, here you are, yeah, here you are, not here you are. Because that's the very nature of energy to be like waves and waves have crests and troughs. Only we, under, being under a certain kind of sleepiness or illusion, imagine that uh, the trough is going to overcome the wave or the crest. The yin, the dark principle, is going to overcome the yang or the light principle. And that off is finally going to triumph over on. And we, shall I say, bug ourselves by indulging in that illusion. Gee, supposing darkness did win out, wouldn't that be terrible? And so we're constantly trembling and thinking that it may, because after all, isn't it odd that anything exists? It's most peculiar, it requires effort, it requires energy, and it would be so much easier for there to have been nothing at all. Therefore we think, well, since being, since the is side of things is so much effort, you always give up after a while and you sink back into death. But death, is just the other face of energy. And it's the rest, the not being anything around, that produces something around. 
It's kind of getting dark now, so we're gonna try and beat the sun back. So now we're headed back down to the car, like another two and a half miles probably. There's the car. Man, and it's getting dark, so just in time. Probably a seven or eight out of difficulty, just in terms of how steep it is. Uh, it's relatively short, it's only like a six miles total. I would hike it as soon as you can. Hope you enjoyed it. Peace out. Good job. <laughs>